Hello Tauruses, this is your full moon reading for November and what it's got in store for you and what my spirit guides want to let you know in relation to what's to be expected or what you should be thinking about. So for me, really strongly what comes out and the way they use it, which might have some relevance, is black and white thinking when it comes to you. They're kind of saying here, like it's a time on the full moon to not act you're grounded normally, that's your star sign, but there is something about looking at important key areas of your life that you're wondering whether you should go left or right and almost looking for a middle path, but instead of going one way or the other, because they're saying it's either yes or no for you and there's a middle route, but also that there's something about the way that you think in this kind of black and white, yes or no, right or left um, energy that needs to be, you need to be rethinking it, you need to be reimagining it, you need to be reconsidering whether there is a third option, basically. But also there is something about outdating th outdated thinking when it comes to um, the transition of the energy for you guys, because it seems to, it seems to be very much going to be serving you well in at least two key areas of your life, maybe even three that's slightly hinted at, but two that's really important, which is your romantic life. And also when it comes to um, work and then the, the other tiny that one was like personal development, which slightly hooks on to, I guess, to both of those areas. But those two areas in particular, because they're saying here for the next six months, it's those two key areas in terms of your romance, your romantic life that will need um, you to think about a middle route and not just yes or no, or they have to or they don't have to. Um, there is this compromising energy in the middle or actually I hadn't thought that, you know, I thought I could only be employed or self-employed. And, but there's actually something in the middle which might be actually that I'm self-employed, but I work and I'm contracted with employers. Do you see what I mean? I'm trying to give you examples. They're saying that there's a middle option that you haven't considered. And it's in this energy that if you can sit and think about that aspect and then plan for the next six months, it will work out for you very, very well. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the extended and I'm going to have a look at basically how that works out in your relationships, how that benefits connections, and then also how it benefits your work. So if you want to dive a little bit deeper into that, then the extended is just down below. And I hope that helps. Hello, Tom.